Hello, welcome to Liverpool FC News Today channel. Liverpool star Mohamed Salah missed training on Wednesday ahead of the Premier League's return. Jurgen Klopp may be forced into a rethink as his Liverpool side prepare to return to action on Sunday at noisy neighbours Everton. Manchester City's routine 3-0 win over Arsenal means the Reds are unable to wrap up the title at Goodison Park, but nonetheless, victory in the Merseyside derby would be the perfect response following a three-month absence. Many have forgotten just how good Liverpool had been this season before the coronavirus crisis threatened to wreck their title dream. The European champions have dropped just four points in the Premier League, suffering just one defeat at the hands of Watford in February. Despite being just six points from the glory which will end 30 years of heartache, there is much more for Klopp's side to play for. They remain on course to beat Manchester City's record points tally of 100 from 2018, while they could also beat the most wins in a single season, 32, most home wins, 18, and most away wins, 16. The return of the Bundesliga has suggested that all momentum before the break could be thrown out of the window, meaning Liverpool will have to find their feet again. However, last week's 6-0 demolition of Blackburn suggests that may not be a struggle. The Reds managed to net all six goals without Mohamed Salah, who is their top scorer in the Premier League this season. They may be without the Egyptian again on Sunday when they make the trip across Stanley Park. Salah missed training on Wednesday and the club remained tight-lipped on the potential injury problem. Klopp is set to address the median on Friday in his press conference in which there will be further indication as to whether Salah plays. The German is unlikely to dwell on any negatives heading into the contest and should Salah be unavailable, it could hand Naby Keita the chance to finally get his Liverpool career off the ground. The midfielder is yet to fulfil his potential since arriving at Anfield in the summer of 2018 in a deal worth £53 million. Just when Keita finally looks to have turned the corner, he is halted by an injury. The break-in play has given the former Airbe Leipzig man the chance to wipe the slate clean and start afresh. He has made a huge impression during the club's mini pre-season and was regarded as the best player in the first inter-squad match and win over Blackburn, scoring in both. The durability and reliability of Fabinho, Jordan Henderson and Jeannie Wijnaldum has seen Liverpool's other midfield options starved of game time this season. But that may no longer be the case. Jamie Carragher recently claimed that Klopp will use the rest of the campaign to prepare for next season, despite the various records up for grabs. It feels like do or die time for Keita in particular who is still yet to explode in the Premier League. Salah's potential exclusion against Everton could see Keita come straight into the lineup, in a perhaps unfamiliar role in the front three. Last season he enjoyed several cameos from the left in a 4-2-3-1 system, where he thrived. Now he could be offered the freedom of Goodison Park and there would be no better fixture to make his mark than this one. Unfortunately for Keita, he is not the only Liverpool starter have made an impression in the past month. Takumi Minamino is also itching for an opportunity to shine, after his January move from Airbe Salzburg. Should Salah be sidelined it could be a coin toss between the two as to who takes the forwards place, unless Divock Carigi is summoned to carry out more derby heroics.